Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot uh, and find out if an AC run capacitor is uh, defective or not. So, in front of me here, I have a Train XR um, compressor or condenser unit, and uh, it is about seven years old. Um, for an AC that is about seven years old, it's very common for the capacitor to fail right about five to eight years and uh, it's the uh, one of the most probable thing that you can do it yourself and change and uh, without costing hundreds of dollars so the first thing that we want to do is uh, turn off the power to the ac and this is my um, disconnect so usually an ac unit should have a disconnect nearby so i have three ac unit I know for sure that this is the one uh, that disconnect the AC unit that I'm going to be working on. Uh, so this is one of those pull out disconnects uh, instead of a lever. So all you have to do is just wiggle it and pulls it out. So you just have contacts that shorts this side to this side. And as you can see there, once you uh, pull it out, just Put it on top like that and we can move on to uh, testing the capacitor. Okay, most AC capacitors is going to be located behind this enclosure here. So I'm just going to take a 8 millimeter hex and uh, start opening it up. Capacitor is right here, uh, but before you touch anything, even though you already disconnected the uh, the shut off um, electricity shut off breaker or disconnect point, you would want to test to make sure that the the electricity is indeed off. Uh, I'm gonna be using a voltmeter. Uh, this is a voltmeter by. Commercial electric is a pretty easy way to uh, test to see if you have electricity running. And I can confirm here that there's no light, so it is off. Next, we're gonna remove the capacitor from its clamp. And uh, we're just going to remove this nut right here. So be careful when you're handling the capacitor. A uh, capacitor may still be charged, which means that it, it has um, um, electrical um, charges inside of it. And uh, before we remove the, um, the, the cables, what we want to do is discharge it by connecting each one of the terminals to each other. Okay, so for the next, next part here, make sure you're using an insulated screwdriver. Um, this is a screwdriver I'm holding only on the plastic part, and this is really long. Um, what you wanna do is short the terminal, like this one right here to common, and that one to common. So, let me see if I can see which one is common, which one is not. This thing is so rusted. I can't see anything. Next, you would want to take several pictures of the cable, how it's connected to the capacitor, so that you know how to connect it back once you are done testing. Okay, we're ready to remove the cable, and um, I would use a long needle nose plier like this and just wiggle it and remove the uh, cable one by one. I 
got my uh, capacitor removed and uh, let me do some explanation here uh, so this is a dual run capacitor um, the reason why it says dual run is uh, because it has actually two capacitors inside here it's indicated right here uh, one of the capacitor is 45 microfarad and the other one is 7.5 microfarad um, plus or minus six percent is the tolerance so there are two capacitors here with one common most likely uh, this is the common right here I apologize if I actually indicated the uh, wrong um, actually I'm not sure which one is common I'm gonna have to read this schematic I'm gonna bring up the uh, website or the data sheet for this particular capacitors because usually the common would be indicated here but as you can see it's completely rusted so I can't tell at all which one is common I want to say that this is common but uh, this may be fan yeah actually I just uncovered it this one is fan so um, that means that one of these is common and one of them is uh, um, the condenser the fact that there's two cables connected to one of them I wonder if that tells me anything okay after um, wiping some of the rust off I'm actually able to see that this is Herm which means that this is the condenser and this is C common right here and this is fan as you can see there is indicated so I'm gonna take this to my test bench and uh, test it there okay, so we're ready to test now um, one lead goes to common this one right here and then the other lead goes to whichever one you want to test first so I'm gonna test the condenser and this should be giving me giving me about 40 something microfarad is not doing anything okay so I'm gonna test the uh, fan next and it's this one right here it's giving me 7.96 microfarad which is what is expected to have about 7% uh, 7 microfarad or so and uh, but my condenser one is completely dead six for the fan just want to make sure I'm not wrong here I'm not I want to make sure I'm making good contact to troubleshoot making sure that this is a bad capacitor I think the uh, the condenser side is bad for sure I mean once in a while I do see 46 but then it just goes straight down to nothing See, that's the fan one always works right there there and see now that works just for a little bit and then it drops down to nothing This one right here goes to seven, the fan, and it stays at seven. This one sometimes go to 46, and it does nothing. Or it goes to 80 something, it goes nothing. So the condenser capacitor is bad. The fan one is still good, but the condenser one is bad.
Yep. All right, so we have a bad capacitor here. Um, I'm gonna try to get it replaced and uh, replace it and uh, test it out again. So we got the uh, capacitor uh, installed and I'm about to uh, test, um, make sure it's running. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the shutoff. And let's see if it runs. It's actually turning. So before, yeah, I can hear the condenser humming. So uh, definitely uh, working right now. Okay, well that's it for this uh, AC repair and capacitor uh, replacement. Uh, so this was uh, successful, saved probably a few hundred dollars and uh, hopefully this video was helpful if it is helpful please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you like to buy a capacitor um, please use my link uh, to go to amazon and, and find capacitors uh, on amazon uh, using my link it's a help support my channel um, if you like this kind of content please uh, consider subscribing to my channel thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.